Like, we'll do it like GTA like once a week for you or, or something. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see, where do you want to go? Yeah, let's, I'll take you to the ammo store. There's like literally one nearby. Convenience store too, in case you need snacks. you need the armor. While you do that, I will look up what else we can do. Let's see. Missions. There's one called It Takes a Thief. And this one, this one's a nice break from the other ones if you want. Basically, it's there's going to be two cars driving around the map. And you just basically shoot out the guy, take the car, and deliver it back. Do you, or do you want to do a more action-orientated one? Well, the, it, they pay you based on time. So it's like, if we purposely play slowly, it'll give you more rewards. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a weird function, but it's, a, it's kind of a, a bit of a boost. Like, there's a cheat. There's like a cheating method where it's like, I pick a mission where the cops don't show up. And like, we drive to our apartment and watch TV the entire time for like 30 to 45 minutes to an hour. Go back, complete the mission, and you'll probably get like 50k, maybe. And then it's like, and then if you do it on a double day, you get like a hundred thousand, probably. I don't know. I'm just going on guesses. Uh, what's another good one? Let's do. Hmm. Time to get away. Let's see. Time to get away. That's us versus the FBI. There's, there's, uh, water the vineyard, where we have to go to one of the, the. Uh, says anyone who knows me will tell you I'm a believer. I'm a firm believer in the U.S. justice system. Any system that imprisons the poor and lets the rich go free is okay to me. Only there's one judge who doesn't understand how things work. <laughs> We have to go, we have to confront him at his vineyard, or vineyard, kill him and take a photo, and then drive back to the guy. <laughs> the guy. Yeah, alright, let's do that one. Alright, let me set it up. Yeah. Oh yeah, for real. When this game came out, it was a big deal. GTA 5 on its own, like outside of the online mode, is really good. It's it just hasn't aged well. Like it's it's fun seeing people play it for the first time, but for me and Zach, it's like man, we've been playing it for years. It's 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 kind of worn out its its welcome, unfortunately. Yeah, I it's like. It still feels like it did in the PS3 era. Like, not much is really new. The the island... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, it's a game best played with friends, as is, as is every game. I'd say, like, it's... These days, it's fun to play in small doses and just kind of live up the fantasy life, but then after a while, it's like want to play something else. Um, oh god, yeah, I heard so much about that. 
Vendurza said I should. Vendurza said I should check it out. I'm, I, I almost got it, and I was like. Supposedly it's working better now, like I wouldn't mind, if it's on a good, if it's on a deal, maybe I'll consider it just to play around with it. Because I, I do, I do have Fallout games, but I never played them, so I'm going to add them to my Twitch list of, you know, games Aerie has never played before. Like when I got my PS3, like I remember buying games, but this was before I had like people to play it with. So I just, I stuck with the games that best suited me, so like GTA, Pro Wrestling, Golf, like Tiger Woods, PGA Master Tour, stuff like that. I didn't really have, like, people to play it with, but then, you know, as time went on, I met, you know, you, Zach, Cryptic, Max, you know, my fan base grew, so now it's like, okay, now I have friends to play with. So, now that I'm able to do Twitch, I can go back and be like, okay, these are games I bought before I had friends. Now I have friends. Let's check it out. <laughs> yeah, dust off the PS3. I think I have... I think I have four in Vegas. Go ahead, sorry. a little bit closer because he, he is going to escape by vehicle in fact I think he's escaping now so. let's go get him All good, no rush. I'm gonna oh. hop on in a second. I just wanted to finish a quick legendary bounty. It's all good, man. Alright, final draft. I'm gonna let you take up the, the judge. What are you doing. guys playing? What are you guys doing right now? We're, we're doing GTA, just I'm playing different missions with him, just kind of getting him. Okay. All right. Now you gotta take a photo of him. Uh, walk up and it'll instruct you with the camera. Aim the Snapchat photo thing on him. So pull up your phone and then. Yeah, I didn't join her. I l this drove me nuts. I I get home. I have dinner. I'm ready to go upstairs since my mother is in the back room. I'm like, you know what? I'll go start on my commission. Hey, why don't we watch some more Vegas movies? <laughs> How about I show you the history of Vegas? Your dad's really super into showing you like a bunch of historical, or not historical, but just if like. If I, if I, as much as I hate to say it, but I, re dad, my dad is one of those people who loves Las Vegas. He cannot get enough of it. Let's just hope he doesn't get your family in trouble. Man. The more you tell me about this, I feel like he's gonna be like the first one to lose all his money in, in one of the slot machines. I mean, he and the, my mother the went, poker table. Like I know him and my mother have gone to Vegas for their hunt for their anniversary last year, so it's fine. But it's just like what bot what gets to me is like you know the one thing I know about my dad is he he's one of the like I said he loves Las Vegas. I guess it's like the only place for him to let loose, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I hope not. We act we actually nearly ended up living in Las Vegas at one point. Before I ended up 
this, like, <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like, I nearly live, and I could have, I could be living in Las Vegas right now. Oh man. And you want to know one, what? Is he, is he the one that is he kind of like a, a guy that that sticks around even though he knows he's probably gonna lose all the money? Like, is he is his gambling habits kind of bad or? No, him and my mother have got their gambling habits under control. It's my mother. It's my mother who's got a gambling. Who's got a gambling issue. Yikes! It's like my dad. You know, he does. He goes with the plan, and this is the plan I'm following. Go with a. Go with a certain amount of money. Only use that certain amount of money. Don't you know? A flash of doing business with you. Hmm. It's my mother who my it's my mother who has the gambling issue cuz as she puts it you never you never know when you're going to win cuz which is why she plays the lottery a lot She has this she has this shtick it's like I don't know she always she tells herself she's going to win like you know that whole thing I told you guys about. If you keep thinking about it, you know it will eventually. You want to do a uh, repo? Do you even lift? Hang on, let me get air. Hang on, I'm almost there. So let me. Uh... <clears throat> oh, okay. We'll we'll cancel out and wait for you then. Okay. Yeah. The yeah. She. It's my <clears throat> mother that has more of a gambling issue than my dad. All right. My dad, but I wouldn't say my dad has a gambling problem. It's just that if it were up to him. He would live in Las Vegas. He loves Las Vegas. Okay, let's uh, let's. let's <laughs> I know it because let's he's exit got out so of this one, so we can let Zach I, join us. I know it because he has so many Las Vegas movies, and he's always talking about it. I mean, now of course he talks about it a lot because he used to vacation a lot to Vegas. Of course, you know, af after him and my mother nearly divorced, you know. That hasn't happened as often, right. and now he only goes for special occasions. Mm -hmm. <sighs> like... I'll be honest. The more, the more he gets into it, the less appealing Vegas looks to me. I think just the fact that he's force feeding a bunch of Vegas themed movies <laughs> towards you is like, okay, let's go watch <laughs> Vegas Vacation like with we Nicolas start... Cage. We and started like, with. Like, uh, Dad, I don't want to watch this shows, movie. <laughs> I think I told you. I watched the cooler, and it all. And what I thought was, so if I were to go to Vegas, I'd have. All right, you can invite me now. Okay. Um, hold on. You put me in a different. I have to set all up right. an. I have to set up a new invite only session because it, it booted me out and put me into a public lobby. Ah. Uh, okay. I'll just, you know, maybe I'll go to the casino while I wait. Okay. I, but yeah, my I dad, he... I, I probably could have stayed because there was a public lobby of just five people. We probably could have sold some stuff, but, man, it's too late now. It's okay. But yeah, the, like, I know my dad. He lo he loves Las Vegas. I know he doesn't like to say it, but I guess, but he really truly loves Las Vegas. And like I said, I could have moved there. You want? I, I'm actually the reason we didn't move to Las Vegas. Oh, you wanna know what I did?